ESTPs, the 48 Laws of Power. Depending on the particular persuasion of the ESTP in question, this book is either an amoral manual to weaponize their natural understanding of power dynamics, or a way to spot when other people are trying these tactics so they can shut them down. ESTPs have an intuitive understanding of such things, so this book is often appealing to them since it lays these ideas out in blunt and uncompromising terms. ISTP, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Mystery, intrigue, adventure, and plenty of dark undertones. Its entire vibe and main character are ISTP-esque, featuring an unorthodox, non-conformist, misanthropic expert hacker with a complex problem-solving mind, willing to engage in a battle of wits or battle of fists with equal force. INFJs. To kill a mockingbird. The story centers around the character of Atticus Finch, who defends a character against false and racist accusations, despite extreme threats from the surrounding community. He's someone who stands up for what's right and encourages the people around him, such as his children, to be empathetic and just. He represents INFJs at their best, in his ability to withstand external pressure whilst pursuing a noble and ethical cause, using his empathy and intellect. ENFJs. How to win friends and influence people. This book is a masterclass in becoming genuinely interested in people and navigating your way through the complex and sometimes murky world of interpersonal relationships. It could equally be titled How to Be an ENFJ. They are the masters of all things people related, often boasting the widest ranging, most eclectic social circles being the hub around which people coalesce and connect. ISFJ, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, probably more famous as the film version, which is just called The Shawshank Redemption, than the original novella. It's a story about someone dealing with injustice, with humanity, grit, good faith, and a slow-burning, relentless determination. The main character represents lots of the impressive and underrated aspects of the ISFJ personality, a person who becomes such a pillar of the community within the prison that the powers that be make sure he can't leave, yet at the same time, so under the radar and underestimated that no one would guess he's been plotting and executing a remarkable plan to escape. ESFJ, The Age of Innocence, a book that brilliantly outlines the delicate balancing act between interpersonal relationships, romance, lust, and the infinite subtleties and complexities caused when those things clash with societal etiquette and expectations. ESFJs, by virtue of their nature and focus on people, have to master this delicate dance and walk the tightrope of people-pleasing whilst not bending too much to the point of complete compromise. This book captures that dilemma perfectly. ENTJ, Moby Dick, a story of someone leading a crew on a daring, dangerous, and ambitious quest, driven by deep personal values. This is just one, but a salient aspect of the ENTJ personality shown in an extreme form, on a relentless warpath, but it does capture their sometimes pathological obsession with achievement and reaching their goals, even when the costs of doing so are high. INTJ, I, Robot. One of the most famous books by Isaac Asimov, who might himself in fact be an INTJ. It examines the inevitable push towards increasingly intelligent technology and the moral implications of it, projecting forward into the future and deeply assessing events that might not even commence within their own lifetime is something that INTJs feel compelled to do. This ability to immerse themselves in a time and place far removed from where they are is a characteristic trait which makes them excellent planners, predictors of the future, and people who can solve problems way ahead of time. ISFP, 1984. A dystopian world where individuality is stamped out systematically. ISFPs fear the loss of their identity more than maybe anything else, and this is something that happens in a normal society, let alone a dystopian one. So this book represents their greatest fears. If you had to pick one type to be a freedom fighter against a totalitarian regime, ISFPs would probably be number one. ESFP, can't hurt me. Written by retired Navy SEAL David Goggins, the book is a manifesto for adopting a mindset of pushing yourself, dealing with obstacles head-on, and backing yourself, regardless of what other people are telling you. It feels especially applicable to ESFPs from the individualistic and forceful tone of the author, and the power of achieving remarkable things in a simple but not easy way. ENFP one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Taking place in a psychiatric ward, run by a dictatorial head nurse, things take a dramatic turn when a rebellious and mutinous patient arrives to shake everything up. The book is a great representation of something ENFPs do well, seeing the humanity in people who are often considered outcasts or even lost causes, and showing the limitations of rules and sanity. INFP, 
Alice in Wonderland. The character of Alice enters a strange world full of weird, wonderful, and dangerous characters, yet approaches them all in an open-minded and non-judgmental way. This captures an essential element of the INFP type, and that is the tendency to follow their curiosity, even if it leads them to dark places and people. Rather than simply being lost in their own wonderlands, they are able to find magical places and moments amongst the sometimes lacklustre nature of day-to-day -day life. ISTJ a short history of nearly everything. One underrated trait of ISTJs is their eternal desire to consume knowledge and truly understand the world around them, particularly when it comes to things like history. Understanding the origin of the way things are and discovering timeless truths that can be seen throughout different periods of time. A short history of nearly everything is exactly what you think it is, allowing the reader to get the basics of the major discoveries of humanity and the people behind them. ESTJ make your bed. In this book, Admiral William H. McRaven shares the 10 lessons he learned from Navy SEAL training. It extols common sense, practical, and down-to-earth nuggets of wisdom based on experience. It draws attention to a life philosophy that the ESTJ type often advocates for, getting the simple things in life right, which is often the foundation of much of their success. It's about organizing your life in a way that actually works for you and gets results. ENTP. Catch-22, a book which added the phrase of the same name into common use. A Catch-22 is a paradoxical situation from which an individual cannot escape because of contradictory rules or limitations. The more you stare at life, the more paradoxical it becomes. The same can be said of people. ENTPs more than any other type are aware of this inherently paradoxical and contradictory feature of life. And unlike other types, they don't feel much need to resolve them. In fact, they kind of revel in pointing them out. INTP. The selfish gene. This is not because INTPs necessarily have any interest in evolutionary biology, although they often do, but rather because it's an example of someone creating a conceptual framework that has a remarkably far-reaching and widespread applicability. INTPs understand the world through principles, formulas, and underlying theories, and this is one of the most famous examples of a poetically described and simple principle that appeals to the INTP's way of thinking. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and feel free to share this video with anyone you think will like it. It makes a big difference to the video and the channel overall.